today. My name is Kenny M here. Another epic adventure. Back into the back brakes again. Yeah, I know. If you've been following me, you know that I've already just done these last week, in fact. Something's been niggling, niggling, niggling about the calipers. So I'm going to jack it up, put it up on jack stands, put the wheels off, pull the, pull the right-hand rear caliper off to start off with, and we'll have a look at it when we get to that stage, eh? What I didn't show you last time I had this uh, caliper off, uh, these little concertina boots, one on each side on the slide. Um... They're meant to sit over a little ridge in the slide, and that's the slide bolt there, 14 mil. And there's a little ridge just where the uh, little jeweler screwdriver is, and the rubber boot isn't in it. How I knew about that is because um, I think it was the driver side rear caliper was a bugger to get on, and I thought the uh, slides were just a little bit uh, out of alignment. What actually happened was one of the slide bolts um, and it was, wasn't this one it was this one here that one was just about seized I pulled it out took a, a bloody hell uh, a lot of effort to get it out and I had to clean it up with a wire brush and um, lubricate it up with some more silicon grease and stuff and I figured that dirt and shit must have been able to get in between the slide and the boot because it's, it's not sitting on that groove in the slide bolt so that's why I've got to back off to get these boots back onto that um, spot on the bolt Let's see if I can pull the bolt out and you can have a look well that's it there see that little um, lip there boots meant to be on that side this boot here try and keep the grease out I'm just going to take it out and give it another good clean anyhow while we're here. Right, yeah, some um, fresh um, ceramic brake part lubricant, so it's silicon based lubricant. Nice and greased. Cleaned it up with some uh, degreaser and some uh, brake cleaner as well. Slides nicely uh, lubricated in. Uh, these boots only go on one way. Make sure you get them on the right way, eh? This is a thicker lip down the bottom there. That goes into the caliper. And I'll slide the caliper back around into position, around to there. Make sure that doesn't get pinched, it sits up inside this bolt hole. And then I'll put that um, slide bolt back in. Come back to you then. I deliberately um, push these uh, calipers apart as far as I can, so you can see better in there. That's into the thread part of the bolt there, and that smooth part there, that's where this, this rubber boot's meant to be sitting. You can see that little lip just there so I can lift this boot over and make sure it sits into there pretty happy with that now that's in make sure that one's in all right check this other side it's on all right it's looking good to me so I'm going to throw this back on um, the truck and I'll have to re-tighten that slide bolt I'm going to check the um, other caliper as well to make sure the boots on it as well properly that's the left hand side back together now. Fed the brakes as well. Keep an eye on the brake fluid, eh? I'm going to adjust the handbrake while I'm here. Flat blade screwdriver, make sure that the access hole's dead center bottom. Uh, rotate the star wheel upwards to lock it up, downwards to unlock. Uh, I've done some videos on replacing the handbrake shoes on these and adjusting the handbrakes. So if you want to know more about that, go back in the video library and have, have a squeeze. All that's left now is give it a, a bit of a tub to spill brake fluid and especially around the back areas as well. Uh, brake fluid's hydroscopic that means it loves water. Uh, what does that mean? Um, water's a good cleaning medium to get rid of the um, brake fluid so just gonna move the car out give it a wash down. Job done.